This week on The Wire, rents rising at rapid rates, listings fall while demand stays high, and record level of new home building. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, rents rising at rapid rates. So continued low supply and high demand is driving up more than sales prices, with new figures revealing rents are also increasing rapidly. SQM research figures show decade low vacancy rates and growing demand has lifted weekly, asking rents by 13.7% nationally in the past 12 months. Now, the rate of rental growth has now surpassed the rate of house price growth, which has been 13.5% during the same period. Nationally, the median rent is now 508 bucks a week, while the vacancy rate is 1.7% in a market where a 3% vacancy rate is considered balanced. SQM Managing Director Louis Christopher says the current rate of rental growth is the fastest Australia has experienced since the 70s. He says it's fantastic for new investors. They're entering a market where rents have been rising and are still rising, and they can buy in or on a yield well above the average lending rate right now. That means there are hardly any negatively geared property opportunities out there. Now guys, for our next story. Listings fall while demand stays high. So the number of properties listed for sale has fallen, fallen even further as prolonged lockdowns continue along the eastern seaboard of Australia. New figures from the REA Group show that property listings dropped by 10.4% nationally in July while buyer demand remains high. Now realestate.com.au reports a 19% increase in potential buyers searching its online listings in the past week compared with the same time last year. Now that's good news for those who want to sell at top end prices, but bad news for buyers who are facing increased competition according to REA Director of Economic Research, Cameron Kusher. Nationally, listings are now 23.7% lower than at the same time last year, recording the largest year on year drop since 2016. New listings dropped by 27.3% in Sydney, 26.9% in Adelaide, 14.2% in Melbourne, and 6.6% in Brisbane during the month. Now, Kusha says demand for properties remains at near record high levels. Now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Record level of new home building. So the number of homes under construction in Australia is at record levels on the back of recent government incentives. Now, the HIA's latest industry outlook report reveals updated forecasts for new home building and renovation activity throughout the country. Now, it predicts the boom in construction will continue to keep the building industry firing well into 2020. Uh, 2022, I should say. Now, the high level of construction means there are still issues with the supply of materials and labour, which is also expected to continue next year. While most of the demand has been for standalone housing so far, demand for units is starting to return with approvals for units increasing in both New South Wales and Queensland after a slow 2020. Now, the renovation market is also expected to remain strong, buoyed by a significant build-up in savings by homeowners unable to travel during the pandemic. The HIA is predicting that although the next 12 months will be strong, construction levels may begin to decline in the following years. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, a comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and don't forget, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.